through him on a regular basis. Just great assist like the one we just saw. The Wizards with the lead. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. They've got Bradley Beal. Bogdanovich out there with Lynch. Then it's Anthony Bennett. And it's O'Neal in at the five, roaming the paint. Bennett setting the pick for Beal. Pass to Lynch. Here's Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. It's hauled in by the Magic. Gordon's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Harkless gets to Brown. Talk about putting something extra. <laughs> is way over the top. Close game or not, Clark. You know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. Teague against Lynch. He dishes it to Bennett. Pass to Lynch. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to, to find those close-range shots. Now, here's Oladipo. Beal with the steal. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here is Lynch. Teague covering. Screen by O'Neal. The dish to Beal. Off the screen. Second chance effort, and O'Neal finishes inside. And the Wizards lead by three. What an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender, you know, giving up so much size, there's no way he's going to get a hand on it. Teague kicks to Oladipo. Back to Teague. Six on the shot clock. And the rejection by O'Neal. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Beal dishes to O'Neal. Out left to the wing. Oladipo against Beal. A baseline jam. That doesn't go either for Beal. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just planks the open jumper. Outside Teague. It's Davis on the wing. And Oladipo kicks to Davis. Outside Teague. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. The Magic again can't hit. Wizards leading by three. Here is Lynch. He kicks to Beal. Launches a three. That's good. That's been a great day for him. And if you remember, he gave them a huge performance their last time out as well. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. So it's Washington now. Jeff Teague unable to get his shot to go. Beal gets a wide open look. And he swishes it right through. And now it's an eight-point Wizards lead. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Well, good timeout, guys, because, uh, you know, this has been a bad run for them. He's got to get his team back on the same page and, and executing well together. Sometimes just getting the stop in the action can be enough to get a team back on track. There's something about that little pause in the intensity of the game that lets you refocus. The Wizards making a switch here. Ball's checked in. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Brian Shaw was giving to his team. He talked mainly about giving them a different look defensively and dropping more bodies into the paint, saying, listen, they're eating us up on the inside, and we need to do whatever it takes to stop it. Guys, back to you. Terrific game for Oladipo. 12 points and 5 assists. You just can't find fault with anything he's done here. The effort, the energy, his production, his defense, it's all there. All hustle, non-stop effort from him all That's over that 94 by 50 foot box. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. They've worked hard to get the ball into the low post tonight as well. And it's paid off. Oh, 
Oladipo hits them both. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And they're going to have to continue that pace, Clark, because they're down, and anytime you're losing, you got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. Here's Bogdanovich. There's a screen. In Jonia. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Yeah, not a lot you can do defensively when they continue to get the ball inside and get these easy shots. And Wall. Here we go now. It's hauled in by Gordon. He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Unstoppable offense from both teams. I love the pace this game has been played at. So does everybody else in the building. This has been a fun one. Now, here is O'Neal. There's the pass to Bogdanovich. To the paint. Knocked loose. Hopeless with the steal. And Matthews kicks to Hartless. And the first one drops. Mark was hits them both. I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half, despite trailing in this game. Well, you know, that's when you need to be most aggressive when you're down. Another good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. The Magic trail by four. Now here's Gordon. Matthews passes to Quinn. Rebound by the Wizards. Bennett's got seven rebounds in the game. A floater, and he gets it to go. And the Wizards lead by six. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. And Matthews kicks to Oladipo. Lock at six. Washington with the rebound. Bennett's got rebound number eight now on the night. All with it, Matthews covering. And there's the foul. It'll go on Mo Hartless. Washington calls timeout. Defense Orlando. Heartless with the steal. The turnovers are really prominent. I know they're leading, but eventually it's going to catch up to them if they keep wasting possession. They've been so undisciplined. Clark, that's been the, the most disappointing thing for me here. Beal can't get it to go. The Magic trail by six. Matthews dishes to O'Quinn. Matthews passes to Gordon. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. Back to the line. Shooting two. Aaron Gordon. Oh. 
No good on that one. He's off on the second. Wizards leading by six. Outside wall. To the left wing. Here's Bogdanovich. His three pointers off the mark. The Magic have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Oladipo against Wall. Here's Matthews. And he gets the bucket. Matthews has got 15 points in just the second half. They'll be counting on even more points from him. It's essential if they're going to pull this game out. And Wall kicks to Beal. He feeds it to O'Neal. Now here's Beal. Defended by Hartless. Six on the shot clock. Puts it up from 12. Beal with another miss. He's got a nice touch on that shot normally, but good defense there clogging the lane. Oladipo, the pass to Harkless. Feeds it to O'Quinn. Shot from 12. Washington with the rebound. Outside, Wall. Kicks it to O'Neal. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. 16 points for Red Hot. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes by conducting an orchestra. Now a timeout called by Orlando. One of the stories here, Red Hot, getting it done today. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. Wizards on D. Six-point lead. Oladipo dishes to Matthews. Six on the shot clock. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Matthews has got five points now in the quarter. Getting the feel out there from long range, guys. That's his second three of the half. Washington calls timeout. First one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. them a four-point cushion. Orlando's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Elbow shot is on the way. Off the left rim and out. Washington's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Pass to Bogdanovich. And Beal kicks to Bogdanovich. It's Beal on the wing. Started by Oladipo. Five on the clock. Fires from the line. No good. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. And there's the feed to Matthews. Oladipo against Beal. 
from 11 feet away. Misses off the right iron. Wizards leading by four. Ball passes to Bogdanovich. Shoots the three. And Harkless pulls it down. Well, Orlando shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. Crucial basket. They needed it, and he gave it to them. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. And no need to rush it. Just play smart, get a good shot, make sure it's a well executed offensive possession. Having a whole lot of trouble dealing with Wall. He's been a problem. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're trailing by four. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. We've got 28 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Harkless. Nails it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And that bucket ignites the crowd. Crucial bucket there. And you hear it in their reaction. And you can feel the energy throughout this building right now. What a huge shot. <laughs> he drops the first one. And that will put them up by two. Two for two at the one, and it's a three-point game. And the free throws make things a lot more simple for them. Now you just have to guard against the three-pointer. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here are the Magic now. Outside Matthews. Dishes it to Oladipo. Here's Harkless. Buries the triple! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. Washington calls timeout. Seconds left here in the fourth quarter. All with it. Oh, draws the hard foul, and he'll head to the line. Well, they did have a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before the shot attempt. Yeah, you really want to try to foul in that situation before he gets into the shooting motion, and it just didn't work out that time. He sinks the clutch free throw. And so he drops them both. It's a two point ball game. That is delivering in the clutch. Just one more stop is all they need. And so it's Washington who scraped by with the win. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome. This team kept their emotions in check and got it done. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. I'm here with Bradley Beal. And Bradley, what exactly made the difference in this game tonight? It was uh, based off our defense, honestly. We were getting stops and getting rebounds. And I think down the stretch we were able to hold on to the defensive end. But we got good looks on offense, and we, we, we made shots when, we, when they counted. Defense is always a great starting point. Bradley, thanks for the time. Guys? 
All right, Doris, thank you. And for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game, Red Hot.